Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled animation black hole destroys star. So what do we see here? Well, here we'll see a computer animation video that will run about a minute and will give us a look into what would happen when a star is destroyed by a black hole. Now stars do orbit around black holes. In fact, our own sun orbits around the black hole at the center of our galaxy. And the vast majority of stars that orbit around black holes will never come anywhere near them. So our sun is not in any danger at the slightest of anything like this ever happening. However, stars that orbit near the center of our galaxy could come close to the black hole. Those that are very close already could come close enough that they could get torn apart by the tidal forces of the black hole. So that's what we're going to see here as we play the video. And what we will see as we go ahead and start it first, the star comes in and starts to get torn apart. And then we see that the star is spiraling in and forming a disk of material around the black hole. So we're seeing that and we see two jets of material going out perpendicular to the disk. That is where the least resistance occurs. So that's material is able to be funneled out uh, perpendicular to the disk. Next, we will see the horizon of the black hole. And we can actually look around and we get to see the entire black hole itself. Due to the intense gravitational lensing, you can see both sides of the accretion disk around the black hole hole at the same time. And then finally, we end up looking around one of the jets as material is expelled out of the black hole. So as we look at that again, we can go ahead and consider what we see. And that would be that star first of all breaking up and being torn apart by the tidal forces, the accretion disk and the jets forming coming around from that as the material spirals into the black hole, it gives off a lot of energy. So this is where much energy is is given off is in these uh, in the accretion disk around the black hole as things get denser and denser and hotter and hotter. And then we see the area around around the accretion disk itself discreetly distorted by the gravitational lensing. And again, that allows us to see the entire uh, disk or entire accretion disk all at once. We can see both the near and the far side. And then we finish up as we watch the jet of material being expelled out at very high speeds, things very close to the speed of light. So while we cannot actually watch something like this, we can look at simulations as we've seen here to be able to see a little bit about what would happen based on our understanding of gravity when an object passes very close to a black hole. So we can solve the equations of general relativity and that will tell us about what would happen as things get very close to the black hole and give us some of the information on gravitational lensing as we saw here as well. So while we can't actually throw a star into a black hole to see what happens as we would often experiment uh, in other uh, sciences, we can do models and make studies to understand what would happen. Because this process is happening within our galaxy and in other galaxies all the time. So there are consistently somewhere in the universe, a star could be being absorbed by a black hole in a method much like we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for April the 27th of 2021. It was titled Animation Black Hole Destroys Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Polaris Deep Field. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.